Hey everyone, so the time has come to head back to school and start packing for sophomore year of college. Basically in this video I'm going to be packing for school and also giving life updates because this whole summer I was at a sports Christian camp serving as a counselor and so all the videos y'all saw posted I filmed like three months ago and a lot has changed since then. Currently I have stuff dispersed all over the house. Um, some stuff's in the like living room so I'll show you that. So everything that I already have over here that's like I'm kind of already put together. Just um, I literally just have trash can and the trash can I have desk lamp curtain rods. Here's this whole pile over here. So this pegboard because my desk doesn't come with a hutch. So I'm gonna put this to the wall and kind of use this to still just use up wall space. And then under here we have to go over my bathroom toilet for just more storage for buckets. This bucket is like all cleaning stuff. Dusters, mini trash can for bathroom, toilet paper, sponges, lots of command hooks, stuff on the pegboard. This one is like my food stuff. So here we just have like bars, all my protein powders, chia seed, flaxseed. That's that little section. That's over here. And then I have stuff in my brother's room, clothes to pack up, and then I still haven't really unpacked from camp. So my room's a disaster. We're gonna disregard that and um, just put things in bags. So yeah, let's go. Like all this stuff in my closet that needs to be packed. Also, I leave for school in two and a half days, so I kind of like need to get going on this stuff. Here is the absolute craziness of my brother's room, which I have taken over. The bags, all my bedding, towels, literally everything's everywhere. So, so to start, I'm just going to organize clothes in Ikea bags, but because I have the storage unit this year and my like dorm situation, I'm living in my sorority's house, but the dorm room's either same size or a little smaller than what I had in my freshman dorm and there's like a third the amount of storage there's no shelves to like stack containers on anything like that so the storage unit this year i'm going to keep rotate seasonal clothes so i'm going to label certain kia bags what they are and if they're going in the storage unit or in the dorm room so that we aren't unpacking things that don't need to be unpacked i worked at camp for i was outside training for two weeks came home filmed all those videos y'all saw and served for six weeks straight at a camp called Canica Camps. I was at K2, which is the high school camp. I was a camper there. Um, I love Canica with my whole heart. I, I spent all year praying over it once I like got the job, and it's such a unique and cool opportunity, and there's literally nothing like it. I simply can never put into words like what this summer taught me, what it meant to me, the fun I had, the memories I had, but also the hard times with it. Some main things I will say, one, is that the most rewarding and coolest thing ever and the like most purpose our life can genuinely have is spreading the gospel and telling others about Jesus. And one of my biggest takeaways is like why am I not bolder about that outside of camp? Well yes, like that is the environment of camp and that is what I'm being hired to do. It's really put in perspective of like simply like what these lost souls need is the Lord. And with that like I know about him so why would I not share about him with other people also just for me learning like what it means to truly lean on the Lord and our greatest weakness that is where the Lord's strength shines through the most but with that like I truly saw that like there were so many days like I literally to pray like Lord give me the strength to be a nice person today because I'm so exhausted and I want to focus on myself but I'm here to focus on everyone around me but myself and with that, like, I can't do that unless I'm filled up by the Lord. And that was the biggest thing of, like, I can't keep going if I'm not filling myself up with the Lord and being poured into. Um, and so that was just, like, a really cool reminder of, like, what that means. Go out of your comfort zone and see the Lord truly move through you and just be, like, at the end of the day, like, this is not about me at all. It's only about the Lord. And that's just, like, the coolest spot to be in. Anyway, that was super cool. Um, I got to like teach dance classes and tumbling, play pickleball, go on some really nice fun boats, go caving. I repelled. Super cool, fun stuff there that I like love doing. Staff at Canacuck is truly incredible people and it's just amazing what the Lord does when you put a bunch of like-minded people working for one purpose of expanding the gospel and things super duper cool. Right. 
basically now I got back home from camp. I'm home for seven days and then I'm off to school. So since I've been home, low-key been just trying to rest because then planning out dorm, planning out content for when I get to school. I've reached a point where like, well, I've been so excited to go back to school literally since we left in April. So it's been four months. I've been pumped to go back since literally May started. I had one week off. I'm like, okay, take me back. So I'm extremely excited, but I'm also just at a point where I'm like so exhausted from camp that like I'm so glad I have this week enjoying the calm before the craziness of move in, work week, classes, classes during rush, like just the craziness of this. Next month coming up, anyway, I'm, I'm doing sweaters and workout tops, winter workout tops in here. And I'm also excited to just get back to my own routine, choosing how I want to use my time. Just a thing of like, I know myself and I overbook myself um, praying a lot for just like balance in that area of okay like I have so many interests and so many ways I want to spend my time am I really glorifying the Lord by doing all those things half-heartedly you know so that's just one thing I've been praying a lot over but I'm just beyond excited to like go see everyone it's gonna be a lot of fun so okay so one thing I did is I have these pant hangers and then I have some coming with clips to hang skirts. But basically what I did is I hung like all my jeans on one. And so then that way, I hang them in my closet and not take a full drawer. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just throwing things in bags. This could go poorly. I don't really know. We're just doing it. Okay, I made some progress. That bag right there. Denim shorts, sweat shorts, pajamas, rain jackets. It's random. So now we're gonna throw in there some workout tops. Things to know about me, if you didn't know, is I run quite a bit. So I typically go through five, maybe six workout tops a week. Um, but I need to decide which ones I'm bringing because I have a lot. There's not much strat to this. I just take fold and roll. See, like this, I'll leave here to work out in when I'm randomly home because I don't go to Wake Forest. Okay, it's the next day. Last night I... Got back from dinner at like 8 and then was gonna like FaceTime people while like I packed and then I got in bed to talk and then I never made it back down to the clothes. Didn't have it in me. It's a new day. It's currently 10 in the morning. Now, um, I used to have a ton of like plastic hanging garment bags because I'd have to hang all my dance costumes and stuff in there for competitions. But literally I've hunted the whole house, can't find them anywhere. So like maybe they're still in college. I don't know. Also to make move in way more efficient, I'm switching any of my ones that are on my like, those on my plastic color hangers. I take up a lot of room in my tiny little closet at school. So I'm switching to these thin like velvet hangers. I'm gonna switch those onto it and that way they don't slide off either. And that way I get to school, unzip the bag, plop them on the closet, good to go. So I've laid out and organized my dresses because I have hanging bags coming. So these are like dresses for church. This is like mandatory have to have for recruitment or just sorority events that we like have to wear white or whatever for. And then this is game day fits. And then I'll just like once football's over, put them all in the storage unit. I just had my skirt hangers came from two. They each hold four skirts. I put on my nicer like game day businessy skirts to hang up and ones that just wrinkle easily. Some of them are like shorts or skorts or whatever. Also, I just had a bunch of picture frames come in. Basically, I went hunting on Amazon for um, different shaped gold frames. So we're hoping these are gonna go together. I got some pictures from Walgreens printed out, so I'm gonna start putting pictures in and organize now to just save time when we're moving in. Got the frame set up. I think I like the way they look. I don't even know where I'm putting them in the room. Okay, so I'm currently cleaning up my makeup. Some of it is just like so incredibly pale compared to me right now. So I'm gonna put it just in my makeup at home for when I come back 
for Christmas break. Um, but I'm just taking out containers. They were all like neatly organized in here, but I decided I'm going to steal them from here and bring them to school. So I just have like, this is like the typical like makeup I'll grab for the day. And then I'm just going to clean out my makeup bag and keep like heavier stuff for like formals and recruitment and all that in here. Okay, it's currently day three of packing and it's my last day to pack because I drive all day tomorrow and like you need to edit this video. Anyway, um, I got a new like shoe organizer in it this year that's just literally going to go on the floor of my closet so I'm hoping it's not too big. But I put all my shoes in there so I'm going to show you this. Some of them I could like have to go into separate ones but others like these Converse could share compartment. There's 16 compartments. Um, okay, it's literally like 3.30. Um, basically, I've done everything. Is packed except like books, quiet time, YouTube stuff. Pile of my books, journals here. I'm gonna throw them in those totes. Then what's ever left is all gonna go inside one duffel bag. But we've already, uh, like in the hall, started moving all of I like stuff all here and sorting into storage unit and dorm piles. So, yeah, we're getting there. 